I'm Brian from Last Mile SF, and I'm going to show you how to program Mini Motors' new fingerprint reader. So we've got it freshly installed right here. So what you're going to want to do is turn it on, and then you've got a blinking blue light. Take your finger, put it on the fingerprint reader, and just hold it down. Once the light turns solid blue, you're going to let go. And then when it's blinking, put your finger back down. If you get a red light, that means you did it incorrectly. Just try again. So green is good. You got to get five greens. So that was one, two, three. That one was not good. Four, five. That one was not five. Five. Once you see that different color blue, you're all set. Now this finger is programmed in. So what happens is when you turn it off and now you turn it back on, if I try to use a different finger that's not programmed like this one, you're gonna get a red light, it's not gonna turn on. But if you use the program finger, the scooter should light back up. So now you're ready to rock and ride. If you wanna reset the fingers or add another finger, you can do that. So to add another finger, what you're gonna do is turn the scooter off and then back on. And now you have to use the pre previously programmed finger. So I'm gonna take this finger, hold it down to get the scooter turned on and then keep it held down until I get that light to be solid blue again. So now it's solid blue, it's ready to program another finger. So I'll do this finger also. So one, two, three, four, five. Now you get a solid blue light. So now I've got this finger and this finger programmed in. So we'll turn it off and just double check that we did everything right. Turn it back on. Now it's ready to go. I'll try this finger, which is not programmed. We should get a red light. Red light means it's not programmed. But now this finger should work, which it is. And then this finger would also work. If you want to sell the scooter or give it to somebody else, I think you can add up to 15 fingers, but I really don't know. So now we've got two fingers programmed in. If you wanted to reset this, you were selling it, giving it to a friend or whatever, and you wanted to get rid of your fingerprints and wipe the whole thing out, um, I would recommend starting with a the drink. Then power the scooter on. You get the blinking light right there. Take either of your program fingers, hold it down. The scooter will go on. You got a little. It's not good. There we go. And then keep holding your finger. You'll get the solid blue, which would be to add another finger right there. But keep holding it. It's going to go red. Once it goes red, you can let go. And then it's going to reset everything. So now this whole thing is completely like starting over. So there's no program fingers. Any fingerprint at this point is going to unlock the scooter. So to test that, we'll turn it off and then on, and then we'll go lefty, should just pop this thing right on, which it does. That's it. If you have any questions, let us know. If you like this video, let us know. Subscribe, thanks for watching. See you out there. I'm Brian from Last Mile SF. I'm gonna show you how to program Mini Mooter, Mini. <laughs> Start over. <laughs>